Ah, Skyrim. One of the most darling gems for game enjoyers. Skyrim is perhaps one of the most beloved games to ever grace the medium. Myself, I must have poured over 300 hours into it as a kid when I had it for PS3. And because it's so loved, it's been everywhere. On your PC, PlayStation, Xbox, Nintendo, Samsung fridge, and yet, recently having gotten back into Skyrim, I can't help but feel I was looking at the game through the rose-colored glasses of nostalgia. Because Skyrim, it's not a good game. Let me explain. Now listen, a few things definitely still hold up. The side quests in this game are amazing. The quest line for the Dark Brotherhood? Mmm, chef's kiss. The writing for that quest is captivating and engrossing. Laid to rest? Chef's kiss. Where is my tissue box? The game is making me feel things. The world is expansive with lots of things to discover, and there is so much adventure to be had. And huge props to the modding community that keep the game fresh and exciting with fun stuff being added all the time that is sure to add hours to your playtime. But all of these positives are overshadowed by a pretty glaring issue. And to understand what that issue is, first, we have to take a look at anatomy. Anatomy of the knee. The knee is one of the most delicate and mechanically complicated structures in our body. It's the junction between our thigh bone, the femur, and our shin bone, the tibia. And the patella, commonly known as the kneecap, sits on top and acts as a lever to allow for the functionality of the knee to bend. Now, on the inside of the kneecap, the coating of the femur and tibia, we have cartilage, which is very easy to damage, but allows the bones to glide again against each other. And in between, we have an even more delicate piece of cartilage called the meniscus, which helps with the gliding. Across from the kneecap, we also have the popliteal artery, which is a major supplier of blood to the legs and thighs. Now let's imagine something were to damage the knee, say, an arrow in the knee. The sheer force and impact of the arrowhead would completely destroy the cartilage and the kneecap, rendering the kneecap unable to perform its function, which would make it impossible for us to even walk. If the artery is hit, someone would die from blood loss relatively quickly. After severe damage to the knee, like an arrow in the knee, chances are you'd never be able to walk, run, jump, or do anything like you used to. In a time of low technology like in Skyrim, you'd no doubt never be able to use your knee again. So why does it seem like every guard and their mother has taken an arrow to the knee and gone on with their life like nothing has even happened? No matter who you talk to, everyone says the same old thing. I used to be an adventurer like you, then I took an arrow in the knee. Like, what is going on here? Every single guard, every single guard in this game took an arrow in the knee and can walk fine? Fight fine? It's like they never took an arrow in the knee in the first place. Even if they're in the furthest possible cities away from each other, they all say the exact same thing verbatim. Is this a cult? Did all the guards in Skyrim wake up one day and tell each other through Carrier Pigeon or whatever the hell to mess with everyone? Did they get unionized? I tested this whole taking an arrow to the knee thing myself, and if, and that's a big if, if a guard managed to survive the initial arrow in the knee, they walked like they were just fine, like nothing happened. Now sure, I'm Dovahkiin, Dragonborn, okay? I get it. To be fair, I'm a little stronger than the average person in Skyrim. But now let's be generous. And at level one, with no experience in archery against a much higher level guard than me, look what happens when I shoot an arrow in the guard's knee. Nothing. They're walking like nothing even happened. So let's say, like all of these thousands of guards are taking arrows to the knee, surviving the initial shots, pulling it out, whatever, and carrying on with their life because I don't know, it's a video game or magic? Pfft. There's still bacteria. Skyrim being set in the year negative 1000 or whatever backwards ass low technology year they live in 
How are all of these guards gonna survive their actual injuries and not succumb to infection? When back in the day, twisting your ankle after falling off a horse could kill a king. How are all of these thousands of guards gonna survive the inevitable infection they'd get from taking an arrow to the knee when the common cold can come along and backspace you out of being alive? And yet, when I tested this by shooting a guard in the knee, then stalking them for literal in-game weeks, Nothing. Skyrim, for all the world building and adventuring it gives you, doesn't even do the basic thing a video game is supposed to do. Emulate real life. I would say I'm disappointed, but that's not how you spell Bethesda. Skyrim is certified actual garbage. Hey guys, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed. If you liked this video, check out the last one, or this other one. I'm gonna go back to playing more Skyrim. See you later.